Please read important safety information before watching this video. The syringe will wear over time, requiring replacement. However, do not assume that the syringe needs replacement because there are air bubbles observed in the syringe. Air bubbles can simply mean that there is a restriction somewhere in the aspiration path. If the syringe requires replacement, it can be replaced by... First, use the auto sample configuration window. Click the maintenance tab, exchange group. Click the syringe button. This will move the plunger to a position that makes removal of the syringe easy. Remove the syringe from the syringe valve by rotating the top of the syringe clockwise. Carefully remove the plunger from the plunger clip. A small flathead screwdriver may be necessary to help pry the plunger from the clip. Inside the syringe valve, use a plastic pipette tip to carefully remove the white Teflon seal. Be careful to not damage the syringe valve. Fill the new syringe with the wash solution, leaving a small amount of liquid on the tip of the syringe. Place a new Teflon seal on top of the syringe and carefully insert the syringe onto the syringe valve. Tighten the syringe finger tight by rotating the top of the syringe counterclockwise. Clip the plunger into the plunger clip. In the auto sampler configuration window, click the direct control tab and select the system wash radio button in the wash group of the auto sampler configuration window.